Okay. It is uh, part three, three, or if I put the other ride on first, it'll be part four. Okay. Yeah, I'll make it part three. I'll make yeah. these in sequence. Part four. September 20th, this is Heron Bay. Which is a lovely development in Parkland. I have a, uh, a golf, uh, golf thing here every year. One, one of the, uh, the golf tournaments, I believe, is in Heron Bay. The yeah. Honda Classic or something like that. I know you're all avid golfers, so you would all know that. But most importantly, as you can see, they have a road here. And that is important to us. Yes. And the white line, this is the white line. <laughs> I am on the white line. I'm demonstrating my bicycling prowess yes. by staying on the white line. Well, I just lean back with my feet on the handlebars and do nothing. Oh my God, look how close to the edge he's coming, they say. <laughs> Okay, white line. It's actually faster, I think, because it's uh, less friction. Yeah, and it sounds better, too. So there's usually a lot more traffic on where you usually ride, which I think you did get a glimpse of before. But since we're inside this development, it's more off the main road. So not so much traffic. Not so much. Not so much. As we ride here in the pleasant uh, outskirts of town in suburbia, it's yeah. hard to hard to imagine that the world is collapsing around us. Yeah, but not here. No, not right now. Not, not in this area, that's for sure. They're not feeling a thing. That's because they're all on drugs. <laughs> but they will in the morning. <laughs> the white line. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's that's this is called White Line Road. <laughs> Named aptly for the white lines. So where's all this uh, woody repartee that we usually do while we're uh, while we're riding? Woody repartee. Yeah, isn't that what we usually have? I don't speak that much French. Oh, okay. You know, the part, no. Ray the party. Okay. Um, we usually talk politics. That's true, but I'm not so sure we want to put any of our political discussions up on the internet. Who's that third party candidate out there? Uh, Barr? Yeah, does he have a mustache? Yeah. yeah okay. I believe, yeah. I always like, you know, I find mustaches to be believable. <laughs> mustaches and goatees? Those are the most believable. Absolutely, especially on attorneys. Do you see an attorney with a, a mustache and a goatee? No, 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 no. He's telling the truth. It's a different standard for lawyers. Oh, uh, yeah. The most believable, honest, and trustworthy lawyers will be wearing bow ties. <laughs> Those are the ones. Bow ties and... Uh, Jackets with uh, elbow patches. Right. Like, uh, like Robert Young. No, I've seen a bunch of uh, a young, uh, you know, yuppie types with bow ties lately. Oh, is that, is that the yuppie thing? I used to love to wear them, but I'm too fat. <laughs> I look like something that's coming out of Act 3. <laughs> now, did you tie your bow tie? Did you wear one of the... <laughs> no, no, no. I, I make my own. <laughs> I am... No, I have. I make my own. I, you know, I bow it. I, oh, you, oh, so you, 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 wear, you do the real thing. Right. It's nothing. It's not so complicated. Uh, it's like it's like tying your shoes. It's the same <laughs> thing. Same concept. Not, uh, not something you have to learn how to do. Keep it to yourself. Everybody will wear one. Yeah. Right. I like at the end at the end of a bar mitzvah or a wedding, I pull the uh, bow tie loose. Right. And it hangs down. I look like Dean Martin. <laughs> Well, it also shows people that you actually tied it yourself rather than wearing something that was put on. That's true. <laughs> very, very trained. You know, it's a nouvelle. <laughs> so we missed the the, uh, the bumpy portion of the program. Also, we saved you all from uh, from seeing the bumps. And Joe has to call out. Yeah, that's the one thing when we ride in this area. Joe actually has to call out the bumps to me. That's 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 his main function, other than changing the gears and keeping this thing afloat. He's got to call out the bumps when we're here, but in our regular, uh, the regular portion of the ride, there's no bumps, so he gets to uh, just hang back and uh, not be concerned with that. Although I've been thinking about calling out rich people as they come by. <laughs> You'd be very busy. Well, so far only the uh, landscapers are coming in. It's too early. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. They're all still sleeping from the night before. All right, we're doing 15 miles an hour. Oh, okay. That's respectable for two middle-aged people. 
One of which is uh, about to be turning 50. 50 años. Oh my God. And you know, I never did get back to see my doctor Singh, the doctor who saw me back in July. Oh yes. I said I still haven't seen the follow-up. Well, you're assuming that everything's all right. I'm gonna go see him on Wednesday, but it better damn well be. <laughs> so I meant to call you in July. Yeah, right. Come right over. <laughs> we have something to tell you. Yeah, that's not good. You can't. You can't do that with these people. Well, I you scheduled. I scheduled an appointment, yeah. and then I, I had an emergency to, you know, to run to court with, so I rescheduled it. So it's two another three weeks. Then on this day before they call me, they rescheduled it. Well, you have to go. They can't just call you and tell you everything's all right. You got to go there. I'm speaking with a with a receptionist who could barely spell her own name. Oh, that's not good. You got that. You should. That's what have to get another office visit out of you. Just for you to go there. And I know, but I'm, I'm. I just want to get it done. I'm, you know, it's, just, it's a question of getting in there. It's been so it's canceled twice. Uh, and of course, I just can't come. He wants me to come on like a Tuesday morning at ten, and invariably I've got stuff booked, you know, for the next couple of weeks. Well, but you know. So I wait. Their time is more valuable than your time. That's understandable, but that's why it's taken till now. <laughs> Well, I have a I have a secret weapon. What's that? I arrive and I say, "Good morning. My, my name is Joseph Klapwitz. <laughs> I am here to see Doctor Singh. He has requested that I appear, and somehow it gets me in." Yeah, yeah. They don't want your kind hanging around there. No, because it's uh, they think I'm his brother or something. My name is Joseph Klappold from Pungash. The doctor will remember me. Right, and it gets you very far with the tech support people also. <laughs> <laughs> they, think, they think you're one of them. Well, the best line is when they when when they ask you when when you when they answer a question, you say, "Thank you for answering my question." <laughs> They're, they're very polite, if, 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 nothing, if else. nothing else. Thank you for that yeah, answer. They didn't understand a word that you said, but they're thanking you for it anyway. Where are you? I'm outside Calcutta. Me, me too. <laughs> me <laughs> too. What, what street? Oh, you're in my building. <laughs> yeah, no, I asked the guy once, and he told me he was in Ohio. I said, no, I don't think so. Ohio, Bangladesh. <laughs> All right. I think that's been about five minutes. Okay. I'm going to Hopefully sign us off. Entertaining enough. I'm going to sign us off. Okay. Hasta mañana. Goodbye.